everyone moose here air guns of michigan and today i want to talk to you guys about cleaning your big bore air rifles now most of you guys know that i love patchworm and i use it in the majority of my guns but once you start getting above 30 caliber it becomes a little bit more of a task to clean your barrel and clean it thoroughly now, as most of you guys know that own Air Force air guns, you know, these barrels, especially depending upon the slugs that you're shooting out of them, can dirty up relatively quickly. I generally clean my bore after every shooting excursion that I go on. Whether I'm at the range and I'm tethered and I'm sending 100 rounds or whether I'm, you know, out doing whatever and only shooting five rounds. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about how I go about cleaning those and um, show you guys a little bit of the practices that I use. So let's move the gun out of the way for a moment and uh, I'm going to show you guys what I do. Now we've all heard of boar snake. Um, I picked up this one. This is um, made by Ultimate Rifle Build, the Ultimate Bore Cleaner. This is in 357. This is the caliber of the uh, Texan that I have there on the ground. And I want to show you exactly how I utilize these and, um, and what I do to prepare them to be used in my air guns. Now, everybody's got an opinion. Just telling you right now. <laughs> I know this. But, one thing that I have found over the years is that some people insist that it's okay to send a brass, brass brush down your bore. I highly disagree. And most of these bore um, snakes have this brass bristle um, embedded into them. And we're going to remove that today so that we don't have any issues with our gun. And the way that I go about this, and I've never worked with one of these, so hopefully it'll cooperate. But um, on the ends of these, they have little um, metal um, prods that stick off the end. And I found this one already. And uh, basically I'm going to wiggle it out so that I have a good view of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up the, um, the weaving around it. Then I'm going to reach in with my pliers. I'm going to go ahead and grab the end of it. And we're going to pull this thing, hopefully, out of this, um, this casing here. This can be kind of tough and uh, a lot of times you have to really work with these things and be finicky and kind of pull them away from the, um, the edge here. But uh, one thing that I have never had to do yet is actually cut mine and I'm hoping that I don't have to cut this one. Uh, it takes a little bit of effort, man. These things are really in there. They're they're brass and they're um, they're really there. We go. Kind of just start pulling it down along the edges and uh, just keep working it. It'll come out. And uh, I mean, they got to put them in there. <laughs> so um, basically, once you get it out, you can see I've got the tip of it out, and then I'm just gonna start pulling on my the boar snake itself, the external part of it, and uh, just loosen it up around it. There we go. Now I got a, a big opening there, and uh, we can start pulling it off. And then, it's thinking about it, I got it worried. Um, and you just keep working it. You know, like I said, you shouldn't have to cut it. Um, I've seen other people that have done this and they cut it, 
but if you just think about it from an aspect of this is like a Chinese, you know, uh, handcuff kind of ordeal, uh, it'll actually come out. And uh, there we go. See, got the brush out. Now we've got a boar snake that we can utilize in our uh, air gun with no brass brushes in it. We, we don't want to send this down our barrel. So now to the cleaning part. And this is how I do mine. Everybody's got a different way of doing it, but this is how I do mine. Uh, number one, I want to make sure my safety is on and uh, I'm going to open up my breech. I'm going to feed my brass into my breech and uh, we're gonna pick this up, let it fall, fall down and we should be getting close, there we go. Now it's out the end of the barrel. Um, now we have our boar snake here and what I like to do is uh, take some ballastol and um, I'm gonna soak like the first three inches of this in ballastol, only three inches. And I'm gonna apply it pretty liberally. I'm not going to, you know, be really stingy on the ballastol. I'm gonna do both sides. I'm gonna put it on there pretty heavily. Um, not so that it's making a huge mess, but I definitely want that first couple of inches uh, to be, um, covered in ballastol and then we're going to uh, let me move this over here and then we're going to pull our boar snake straight through our barrel and voila now that was one pull I generally like to do roughly three pulls um, just gives me a good uh, amount of uh, cleaning and uh, like I said it it kind of takes care of itself it'll it'll fall down there on its own like I said it's got a brass tip on it and uh, we're just gonna feed it down again and uh, there we go it's out the end bear gun back around and then pull our boar snake back through. You can feel it's got some good tension in it. And the reason that I only put the ballastol on the front couple of inches is because I want this part of my boar snake to actually wipe the barrel dry so that I'm not just oversaturating my air gun with ballastol. Um, not that it's a bad thing, but you know, I certainly don't want any, um, you know, just ballast all just sitting in there and keeping my barrel uh, soaking wet. But uh, once again, we're just gonna drop this down the, the end here. And uh, I do this with all of my big bores. Uh, my 457, I actually have two bore snakes. Um, I pull one through that soaked in ballast all, and then I have another one that's a dry pull. Um, but you can see on this, uh, you probably won't be able to see it in the camera, but it definitely pulled a lot of lead out of that barrel. And um, that's it. That's how we go ahead and take care of our big bores when it comes to, let me see if I can decock this gun. There is a way to do this. So you actually have to come back a little bit. There you go. back yep decocked um and uh but there you have it so you know you could you can pick these things up amazon um you know boar snake's a great one um the one thing i do like about this one and like i said this is uh made by the ultimate rifle build it's the ultimate boar cleaner is the boar snakes actually have two brass bristles in them. This one only had one. So it made it a lot easier just to pull that one brass brush out um, instead of having to take two out of 
uh, each one of the uh, boar snakes. But these things are great, and uh, you can get them all the way down to like 22 caliber. Um, like I said, I prefer patchworm when it comes to my uh, under 30 caliber or 30 caliber and under. Um, but once I get above that, I just find that um, boar snakes. Um, these things work really good. Just don't forget to take that brass brush out. You don't need it for cleaning the lead out of these barrels. And honestly, depending upon the barrel, you can really do some bad damage uh, to your air gun barrel. They are not the same as a firearm barrel. This is an air gun. And, um, you know, I just, listen, it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm certain that somebody's watching this going, dude, I brass bristle my Texan all the time. Well, and I'm okay with that because it's your Texan. But in my opinion, just a good boar snake with the uh, brass brushes eliminated will do you just fine. So till next time, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. Be good to each other and God bless.